there can be various reasons why you are losing hair and that baldness is not only common in men women can be bald too please understand there is no one stop hair solution or hair lotion which can cure all your hair diseases there are various reasons why you lose hair it can be medical reason there can be hair shaft abnormalities there can be diseases of scalp some hormonal abnormalities stress all these factors can actually affect your hair so today i'm going to talk about hair loss or alopecia hello and welcome i am dr sraboni ghosoha senior consultant dermatologist from apollo multi specialty hospital kolkata today i'm going to try and make you understand that whenever you lose hair you need not panic first you have to understand that hair loss can be physiological or pathological by physiological we means that hair usually grows in different stages and there are times where you are going to lose some hair over few weeks of time but usually this settles but if your hair loss is not settling you are seeing hair everywhere and you can see your scalp it is the time when you should seek some consultation with a dermatologist who is the best qualified person to help you on this issues so when you consult your dermatologist they are going to classify your hair loss whether it is scarring or non scarring alopecia scarring alopecia means the hair follicles have been damaged and if you don't consult your doctor at the early stage it will be nearly impossible to revive those damaged hair follicles and you will be left with permanently bald patches so it is important that if you have any scalp disease do consult your doctor early rather than trying those home remedies and for non scarring alopecia there can be many reasons and fortunately most of the time we can help you to reach a solution and give you back some of your hair but the key is that early treatment if you are late when your scalp is visible that means more than 50% hairs are lost so that will be too late for consultation and if you waste time by trying home remedies or those advertised hair oils you are actually damaging yourself your doctor will try to find out some causes like whether you have any medical illness whether there is any hormonal abnormalities if you have anemia thyroid disease and so on uh, they will ask you some uh, tests for which uh, you know we can give you some remedies in our day to day practice the most common cause of hair loss we see is um, pattern baldness which is usually hormonal it can affect the male as well as the female and from teens 20s 30s 40s even in 50s people come to us and seek help for this condition and believe me this is a very tr much treatable condition if you can start your treatment at early phase but once the hairs are lost you don't expect to get back your old hair the next common cause we see is telogen effluvium what is telogen effluvium as i mentioned earlier our hair grows in three phases anagen is the growing phase 90% of our hair is in anagen phase then comes catagen and then the resting phase is telogen and then we have this exogen when we start losing our hair and the new hair comes so in anagen effluvium because of some you know internal diseases stress crash dieting pregnancy or major illness can actually shift this anagen hairs to telogen and you can suddenly have profuse hair loss fortunately this type of hair loss can also be recovered with some interventions with supportive treatment the next group we see very commonly is alopecia areata alopecia areata usually starts as patchy hair loss and if someone is unfortunate they can lose the whole hair of the scalp which is called alopecia totalis and it can also affect the other parts of body hair which is known as alopecia universalis 
this is again a very much treatable condition though it can happen can occur recurrently especially in young uh, you know individual but definitely there are medicine these days by which we can actually you know stop this progression of the disease and last but not the there are various other causes of alopecia it's impossible to mention in this uh, short time but one word of caution i would like to say this during um, you know recent times we have seen lot of youngsters they go to salon for various hair treatments so perming straightening bleaching so all this can actually damage the hair shaft and um, they damages the cmc or cell membrane complex which is irreversibly damaged so making your hair more rough and negatively charged and very difficult to control so before going for those treatment you have to really think twice whether it's worth damaging your hair now coming to the treatment aspect once again i want to emphasize that there is no magic cure for hair loss you have to be patient once we have decided what is the cause of your hair loss we usually treat accordingly if there is baldness then there are hormonal supplements we give oral medications we also give some supplements vitamin supplements which helps in hair growth then we have this topical applications in form of minoxidil now minoxidil everyone of you are aware of minoxidil and there are a lot of misconceptions about minoxidil minoxidil is a medicine which actually stimulates the hair growth by bringing you know uh, by uh, doing angiogenesis means by helping the blood vessels to grow the hair when you start minoxidil immediately it doesn't grow the hair usually all the dead hair starts moving out so when you start using minoxidil you will experience some amount of hair loss but over the period of couple of months this is going to settle and also do remember only minoxidil is not solution for all your hair problems you need to have some other treatment in addition to help your hair then we have other vitamin lotions which can also help like copper peptide caffeine all these things can help um, you know hair regrowth but uh, there's no solid evidence for that but do we do use just in case it helps you then we have this low level laser light again there is no solid evidence based uh, you know evi evidence based knowledge but some people uh, it works for some people and last but not the least if all is lost then hair transplant is the last hope but again if you are having this hormonal uh, imbalance and you are going for transplant do remember medical treatment is equally important because once you transplant your hair the others hair will be again vulnerable to injury so you have to have medications lifelong to maintain your hair so once again i want to emphasize if you are having hair loss don't lose your heart please seek dermatologist help and i'm sure they will be able to help you thank you